everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Diamond. It has been a long time since I've uploaded on YouTube and I am elated not only to be back, but to be in a place of peace about what it is I am called to do. In today's video, we're gonna get into why teaching is not only a career, but instead a calling. I began teaching in 2016 and I taught kindergarten for four years and every single school year was challenging to say the least. I worked in a Title I school, I had no sense of work-life balance, and now that I have experience, I feel safe to say that I did not have the support I needed as a new teacher. In March 2020, Corona took everything by storm, but for me, it was a true blessing. Before then, I was depressed, I wasn't an effective teacher for my kiddos, and even worse, it was very hard for me to show up for myself. But because of Corona, I was able to stay at home and not have to return physically to a toxic work environment. So during that time, I decided to leave that school district and to return home to the DFW area. The following school year, I was hired on as a first grade teacher. Happy to be back in the big city, I was very optimistic about my brand new start. But as soon as the optimistic set in, the overwhelming requirements of education because of COVID set in even quicker. I was teaching both virtually and in person. I was um, setting up breakfast trays. I was taking temperatures. I was constantly sanitizing my classroom. I was trying to social distance my 22 six year olds. I was planning, I was differentiating, I was filming, I was doing any and everything you could think of and I got very overwhelmed. So with all that that went on, plus what I went through prior to COVID, I decided to quit mid-year. I took a nine month sabbatical and during that sabbatical, it was the most stress-free time I had had in over five years. I promise you, like it was great. I started my small business called Leaping Learning as a tutoring agency. I had three clients, y'all, three clients. You know, it was, it, was, it was bringing me in some money to hold me over until I could figure out what it is that I really, truly wanted to do. Although I had acquired those three clients, it wasn't enough to sustain my lifestyle. So I started to panic because my bank account started dwindling. And at the very last minute, towards the end of the summer, I decided to go after another teaching job. The school that I accepted a teaching position at was just as desperate as I was because she hired me on the spot. I didn't even interview for that job, which I regret because interviewing the interviewer is just as important as your interviewing process. I hope y'all catch that. I hope I hope y'all understand what I'm trying to say there because um, it's very important to ask questions so that you will know what you're getting into. That's a little tip. We'll do another video about that a little later on. Now, with that being said, how do you think my school year went last year? I, I'm going to give you some think time. I'll give you some think time. If you guessed that I had another challenging year, you are correct. I taught fifth grade. Why? Why did I even think to go to fifth grade? I mean, I was desperate. I, I needed to pay my bills because fifth grade is a, that's a different beast. That is a different beast. That's totally different from kindergarten and first grade totally different totally different and let's just say <laughs> let's just say i would rather deal with the whining and the crying and the accidents than the disrespect and the buckness right some of, some of my kids tried like they tried to get bugged and it was very tempting to get bugged back right so i'd rather deal with the i'd rather deal with the whining and the crying um and here's a tip Know what grade level works for you by trying out different grade levels. That is one thing I do not regret is that I did go higher to see if that was something that, you know, I enjoyed. And there were moments where I enjoyed working in fifth grade, but I just think that primary is my group. During this past school year, I was very adamant about figuring out what was my next move. Was I going to go into another career? Was I going to continue to tutor? And then I reflected and I thought about my tutoring experience and remembered that I did not like tutoring in public places and I did not <laughs> enjoy tutoring in the homes of my clients. 
So then I turned Leaping Learning into an educational resource supplier. First product was a handwriting book that included QR codes linked to videos to teach children the proper hand strokes. I'll link it down below. Now I know that you're wondering, girl, why are you still in education if you had such a terrible time? And you know what, this is something that I've asked myself on numerous occasions. This is how I came up with the conclusion that teaching for me is not only a career, but it is also a calling. I figured out my why. I know, I know, it's, it's a cliche, it's a cliche. You know, your district trainings they are gonna say, know your why, 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 why? But it's very imperative that you know your why because if you do not know why you are in education, then you're gonna be like me and think about quitting every single day of the school year. <laughs> Here are three things that I did to figure out my why which led me to figure out that teaching is a calling for me. First, I sought out advice from trusted veteran teachers that I admired. I want to emphasize trust because everybody in your school, everybody in your school district does not have your best interests at heart. I'm just going to keep it 100 with you. From my experiences, this is what I, this is what I found out. So make sure it's someone that you can trust. If you don't have anyone that you can trust, email me. Um your questions or your concerns and then I will answer them and if I can't answer them I will go to someone that I trust because like I said I need y'all to know this I need y'all to know this you cannot trust everybody right you cannot be trans with everybody and in order for you to to get advice and be able to express your frustrations and your joys and be transparent. It needs to be someone you, that you can trust. So make sure that you get advice and you, and you talk about the experiences of trusted veteran teachers, right? So that's the first thing I did. Second thing I did is I wrote down all of my experiences during my education career, right? My educational career. From when I first found out that I enjoyed working with children to getting my bachelor's degree, to becoming a prepared professional after I graduated, to getting my first teaching job, to getting my master's degree. Up until now, I brought out everything in details from my struggles to my joyful moments. I wrote down everything that I could remember and I reflected on those things, right? Then I asked myself the main question. Diamond, what is your why? And this is what I came up with. I get to leave a positive imprint on young children's lives by setting the foundation for academics and social skills. I have an interest in how children develop and how their development affects their teenage years and adulthood. I am naturally nurturing and affectionate. I love to sing, dance, and comfort when little ones get boo-boos. My number one goal in life is to be an exceptional mother and working with children gives me the practice in the meantime. Not every parent is knowledgeable in child development and certain milestones. Being in education gives me the opportunity to share what I have learned with parents to ensure that their children have a good head start in life. Whitney Houston said it best, children are our future. That is some things that I wrote. I'm not gonna share everything that I wrote, but um, that is part of my why. And, and my why consists of many things, and I'm sure that it'll change throughout you know, the years as I continue to be in education and so will yours. If you need help figuring out your why, there's a link in the description box to a free worksheet. And if you already know your why, please feel free to share and inspire down in the comments section. And until next time, I'll see y'all later. Peace.